These videos of people setting their tires on fire have quickly gone viral. You can watch on YouTube later. They prepare matches, lighters, or even torches, and they set the lighter fluid on fire. Boom! The explosion causes the tires to swell, and bewilderingly, they sit perfectly mounted on the wheel. Just, what are we seeing here? The reaction we're witnessing here is the rapid expansion of gas to spread a tire so it can hold itself on a wheel. In simpler terms, you're watching the tire getting blasted back onto the wheel. <laughs> to understand how this is accomplished, you have to understand how tires and wheels stay together. You're looking at a cross-section of a tire and wheel. These are tire beads. They're made of steel cable fibers, making them rigid and strong. Each wheel has little grooves, or pockets. The tire beads sit in these grooves, locking the tire to the wheel. But when the tire beads separate from their wheel grooves, a problem arises. There it goes, the bead just broke. This can happen a few ways. For example, off-road drivers frequently air out their tires to allow more rubber to touch the ground at a time. This increases traction and provides a smooth ride, but it also increases the chance of unseating your tire bead. Huh? If you're a regular driver, landing in a deep rut, turning too hard in an emergency maneuver, or even contacting a sidewalk can knock your tire askew. As soon as a tire bead breaks from its wheel groove, the tire will quickly lose air. Worse still, a tire will be impossible to inflate until both beads are set and a seal exists between the wheel and tire. That's where the explosives come in. Your wheel is sitting on the floor with a loose tire draped around it. Both tire beads have become unseated and it's impossible to get air into it. The tire sits against the wheel, creating a sort of chamber Using a nozzle or aerosol can, you spray the tire chamber with lighter fluid. Flammable liquid and gas fill the entire tire chamber. Next, you strike a match or prepare another ignition source. You brace yourself and set the lighter fluid on fire. The burning gas suddenly and violently expands. This is also known as an explosion. The escaping gas pushes the sidewalls of the tire up and out. If the proper amount of lighter fluid is used, the tire will expand so far, the tire bead moves along the wheel and catches the groove. That gas won't stay there forever, so you stand ready to fill the tire with air. If you did everything correctly, your tire is now ready to go, and hopefully, your first destination isn't a hospital. <laughs> <laughs>